Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. So it's going to be quite a quick one today. I'm going to be showing you um, how to do sort of the sheer tint effect over holochrome. So I've seen quite a few texts do this. Um, I'm sure I've seen Sarah Shakespeare do it. I've seen Tony Nails do it. I've seen Georgie Smedley do it. And I know that Sarah Richardson also did it um, over chrome. So it's something that's sort of going around at the moment and I wanted to give it a go. So I'm not going to show you how to apply the holochrome today because I did a video last week on that. So I'll leave that link down below so you can find out how I apply the holochrome and also my original holochrome video as well. So I'll leave them both in the description box for you. So today all I'm literally going to show you is how to do the sheer tint over the top of the holochrome. Um, obviously going to be using Magpie products as well today. But yeah, so we'll get straight into this really easy tutorial. So for my base today I used OPI gel colour in Lincoln Park After Dark which is a black. Then of course I used Magpie Holochrome Dust Aurora. Then you're going to need um, some sort of clear gel. So I'm going to be using Gelish Strut Gel because it's a little bit thicker. Then I'm going to use Magpie Pigment in Joy. I'm going to use a little dotting tool to mix the sort of tint together. And then I've also got a Gelish flat headed um, brush to apply the tint on with. So I've already done my base of black, um, my top coat and applied um, Aurora and, I, and then I've top coated again. So now we're ready to mix the tint together. So I've just got a little um, ring palette. So and I'm just going to get my structure gel and I'm just going to put some onto the palette. Then I'm going to get Joy. So I only need a tiny bit of pigment for this. So and just with the small end of the dotting tool, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the pigment and then start mixing it in with the clear gel. Because we want this to be quite sheer. So then I'm going to get my flat brush and I'm going to pick up that clear gel and then what I'm going to do is just start to put it over the nail and we want to try and get a nice even application just turning the holochrome pink make sure to cap the free edge and go all the way to the side walls like that so then I'm going to cure that in my lamp so and then once that's cured I'm then just going to do another layer of top coat we just want one layer we don't need two for this because the holochrome is already pretty sealed in this is just to seal in that tint coat making sure to cap the free edge and cure that in my lamp. So, and then finally, just with a lint-free wipe and some gel cleanser, just gonna wipe over the whole nail. And there you have it. So it's really quite effective, and obviously, um, so it's really quite effective, and obviously it's just another way of adding um, a bit of color to the holochrome as well. And obviously if you've got the Magpie pigments, you can try all sorts of different colours as well on top. Um, you know, they're really quite good to do sort of the sheer tint with. So I hope that you liked this quick tutorial, guys. Please like and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.